little over Top Chef because the 808 Junior Chef Showdown recently brought together eight teams of keiki from after school programs in the Kalihi Palama area. They had one hour to create a meal using healthy local ingredients. And when all was said and done, we had not one, but two winners a team from Kalihi YMCA and a team from Kokua Kalihi Valley. Now, both teams are in studio to serve up their winning dishes. And joining me now is Melissa Fernandez, the coach from Kalihi YMCA, a.k.a. Team Diligence. Thank you so much for joining us, Melissa. Now, first off, what is this junior 808 chef program all about? Okay, first of all, I want to thank Aloha Care for being our sponsors. <laughs> and so basically, it's a coalition of team programs in Kalihi area. Okay. And in conjunction with KCC um, Culinary Arts, they came up with an idea called the 808 Junior Chef. And that pretty much reinforces the healthy um, this habits, you know, eating healthy among children and the families. And not only that, um, it provides them a way to um, be educated about nutritional and basic cooking skills, but also the importance of critical thinking, working collaborative in teams, as well as effective communication. Yeah, teamwork is very important. Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> now, how did it differ, the Junior Chef program differ this year from last year? Because in my understanding, they, the kids had to do something different. Basically, it's just taking family recipes and making it healthier. <laughs> So what did the two teams create? Because we're looking at some of the food that they created, the mm -hmm. winning teams, what did they what did they serve up? Okay, so the Kalihi YMC, they did red salmon, um, their lumpias, red salmon and banana, mm. lumpia. <laughs> and they <laughs> added vegetables like uh, green beans, bean sprouts, garlic, um, carrots. And for the banana, lumpia is just banana and the wrapper as well as just a natural sweetener, um, honey. And for the KKV, which is Kalihi, um, Kuku Kalihi Valley, they had a, a vegan corn chowder uh, where they added kalo, um, coconut oil, oh, coconut, coconut milk, and um, turmeric uh, olena is what they called it. And for their other um, dish is the, oh my gosh, tuna sandwich, adds red salmon, and um, I believe coconut... Oh my goodness. Um, it looks delicious though. I know. <laughs> Can you see it's just the just homemade change? bread, homemade <laughs> bread and um, homemade mayo. There you go. Can you so. see the difference in the kids like when they're actually working as a team and talking to their family members about a, a recipe and how they're developing? Oh, definitely. Um, they're just so proud of um, what, the, you know, um, you know, just representing Kalihi and yeah, just eating healthy in <laughs> general. So, so awesome. <laughs> Have you tried the dishes? Oh, yes, definitely. So <laughs> awesome, which is no wonder they want. <laughs> and, and giving back to the community because they're using local fresh ingredients. And it's right. also talking about nutrition because a lot of people are worried that their kids are getting too much sugar. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I can agree with that. They are, I, I would get worried, too, and this is why it's important for us to um, have these programs to teach them that there are other ways to eat healthy other than um, what's at home, you know, and changing it up and making it creative. So, yeah. <laughs> what do you say, kids? Thumbs up? Who's the future chef out there? There you go. <laughs> Watch for them. For more information, log on to our website at kh12.com. Melissa Fernandez and the Keiki, thank awesome. you so much for joining us. And what a great job. Congratulations, future chefs of Hawaii.